And now coming up next, the USA heavyweight title over 10 rounds. The Australian stand the man Longanides from the red corner up against Charlie, Mr. C. Archie fighting out of the blue corner. What a battle this will be. And coming into the stadium now, the fighters for the big one. The bout that is going to be an absolute sensation. You can see coming in firstly, Charlie, Mr. C. Archie. And as he enters Festival Hall, he's got a plan for the way he wants tonight's fight to go. Well, I'm still going maybe four or five rounds, but I'm hungry and I'm ready for Stan. He had been in the United States and he's been whooping the people I've been whooping. So I think it's really between me and him. And after this fight, I'm gonna just show him in his home state that I'm bad and I'm take the belt back to the United States and fight for the world title. Because I'm ready, I'm hungry for it. Well, he's hungry for it, Bob Jones, but can he do it? Well, uh, he's got an impressive record. He's got a boxing record that goes back and spans years and years, something like 400 boxing fights. And uh, so Stan's a new young guy on the way up. And as I said, in the last 16 months, Stan's had 12 wins in the United States, nine of those being knockouts in the first or second round. So this guy, he'd better be tough. Otherwise, our own Melbourne Stan Longanides is going to knock him right off his feet. Well, Stan Longanides, of course, is the man that uh, Charlie C. Archie has to do battle with. And by the sound of the stadium, Stan Longanides is now arriving, ready to do battle. Stan Longanides, the Australian. And boy, what a performer this guy must be. Aggression is uppermost in the mind of Stan Longanides. And tonight, he's ready to put that aggression to good use. Tonight, tonight I'm going to knock Mr. C out. I've had a taste of success, and I like it. And I plan on keeping it for quite a while. Um, we've got some major sponsors now, and there's no way I'm going to let them or myself or my family or anyone down. So tonight, Mr. C is like a stepping stone for me. Um, I'll be fighting the world champion early in 1990. So there's no way, there's no way Charlie's going to walk away with that. Tonight, Charlie, I tell you, you're going down. Well, Stan Longanidi says Charlie's going down. Richard Norton, will he put him down? I think he will. I think he will. I mean, one of the things Stan's got going, among anything, is the, the training he's had over in the Jet Centre in Los Angeles. I mean, his training partners have been Mike Weaver, former WBA heavyweight champion, Michael Nunn, who was the IBF middleweight champ, Don the Dragon Wilson, who's a world light heavyweight champion, Pete Cunningham, of course, who we met earlier on, the Weaver triplets, which are Mike Weaver's brothers, they're all champions, they got Hagler prepared for Leonard and Hearn. So with that sort of sparring practice and those sort of training partners, boy, you, you can bet you're going to be ready. So this man is going in there very professionally prepared. Very professionally prepared. He's fit, he's fast, he's very flexible. As you just saw, he can do the splits in any direction, which for a heavyweight is unusual. Very fast hits, and he's got a wonderful left hook, which you'll see. Well, there's the tail of the tape of Charlie, Mr. C. Archie. On screen right now, he's 30 years of age, and that could be telling for him. Six foot, two inches tall, 176 centimetres. 91 kilograms and 200 pounds is a big man. He's had 24 wins for 14 KOs and two losses and is rated number three in the world. He comes out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, but rated number three in the world, Richard. He must have some ability. He must have. As I said, he's known for having the most devastating body punches in the sport. That's part of his tactic. From round one, he's in there and he's going to try and rip Stan in the body. And, uh, well, we'll see. Stan, of course, is a quick starter. I mean, he gets the job done. He's got great balance, flexibility, and uh, I think he's just going to be a little bit too fast. Well, there's an absolutely packed crowd here at Melbourne's Festival Hall to be and see this most important bout, and there's no doubt they're in for a great fight. Let's take a look at the tail of the tape of Stan the Man Longanides, just 24 years of age, 5 foot 10 inches tall, a lot shorter than his opponent, and weighing in at uh, 202 pounds, he's a solid lad. He's had 12 wins and 9 KOs, and undefeated. It, 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 number one in the world is the Australian champion and the USA champion. Interestingly, in the, Austra in the United States, he's introduced as Thunder from Down Under. Isn't it?
All the great pictures of Charlie C. Archie there for the playing of the national anthem of the United States of America. Uh, introducing in the red corner from Albuquerque, New Mexico, as an amateur boxer, five times Golden Glove champion of the United States, 489 amateur contests, 480 wins. At 28 years of age, he's had 28 kickboxing bouts, 22 wins, 18 KOs. They call him Mr. C, Charlie Ciacci. And the white runner, unbeaten, 12, 12, nine KOs. He had to gain national acclaim by going to the United States, winning the US and North American Heavyweight Championship. With Pete Cunningham in the corner from Taylor's Lakes. He won the title in over Bernard Letty. Would you welcome Stan the Man to win the United States and North American Championship belt. Your third man, Dave Hedgecock Sr. Junior. Terrific. OK, well, the crowd getting restless as we uh, have the boxes taped and ready to go, but they're called in now to uh, get their instructions from the referee, Dave Hedgecock. OK, my best moment. OK, so there they go. The crowd already moment. getting warmed up for this one. Certainly are. Round number one coming up right now. And it's the big one, ladies and gentlemen, the one we've really been looking forward to bringing to you, the USA heavyweight title between Stan the Man Longanides and Charlie Mr. C. Archie from the United States of America. And they're called in, and here we go with the action. Take it away, Bob Jones. Well, it's the opening round, and it's going to be interesting if this going with continues it. with Stan's record of a first or second round knockout, and I'm sure Charlie C. Archie's aware of that, and he's going to probably be on the defensive move of the first couple of rounds just to feel his way so he doesn't become a knockout statistic of Stan Longanides. Will Stan go for that early knockout? I'm reasonably sure he will. We'll see. It, you know, it's, it's the way his knockouts have been in the past. I'm not sure why he particularly changed now. Well, moving in and uh, taking all of the fight up in the early stages to Mr. C. Mr. C always is very aggressive, of course. He's always going to be in there. But both fighters obviously feeling each other out in the uh, beginning stage of this first round. I just don't like the way Stan's fighting to a very low hands. He's uh, being a little bit too cocky, which is not a smart move against an experienced seasoned fighter like Charlie C. Archie. Yeah, when you look at 480 bouts under the belt uh, of, of regulation boxing, you don't drop your hands to guys like that, surely. That's right. I understand very effective leg kicker. He's very fast with that leg. Very flexible and gets those legs up high to the head very easily, as you just saw. Stan just scored with a very nice roundhouse left kick right on the point of the jaw. Charles Yash acknowledged. Didn't have a lot of power, but it was right there. Oh, that hurt. damaging right leg kick. Obviously saw the effect on Charlie C there. This is the reason Stan's been knocking everybody out. He's got the coordination now, combinations from leg to... Oh, that's why he's being so smart with the hands down. He knows he's got this nice, nice, nice bobbing and weaving. Yeah. I mean, he's really in control there. He knows that jab he throws out. Nice flicking jab, very fast. Nice switch there. Fake low, high round kick. Hey, this guy is quick, isn't he? He's very quick. This is a heavyweight you're watching. Yeah. Very much in control. Stan's putting on a bit of a show. I didn't expect that. I thought he would have come out in powerhouse, but he's doing those karate flick kicks. There's a bit of a show there. So maybe win the crowd over a bit. Maybe this round he'll come out and put the pressure right on. Well, the first round, and he's done it in fine style, no doubt about that. Charlie Archie has some unusual methods to prepare for tonight's fight. Well, I've been running back home hills. I've been running in the sand. I run three to four miles. And I've just been really working hard and boxing at the boxing gym and doing leg kicks in the morning. So I'm really ready to fight. I've been really hitting it hard and my bones are ready. So I'm gonna be cutting up some legs. Well, 
Them's hard bones, all right, aren't they? They sure are <laughs> hard bones. It's interesting to note that uh, Charlie was scheduled to fight the present uh, world champion, Dennis Alexi, on two occasions. Both times, uh, Dennis somehow switched <laughs> opponents two weeks before the fight, so maybe the look was a bit intimidating even for uh, Dennis. He's also been hiding from Stan a bit, too. Stan's been after Dennis. I don't know whether he's come through so quick that they're ignoring to fight him because he's had so many wins in such a short period of time but surely nine wins by knockout gives him the right to start challenging Dennis Alexia. Well, I'm, yeah, I'm sure that's what they're banking on. All right, here we are in the centre of the ring, ready for the start of round two. Well, we will get the aggression. Stan attempting a spinning wheel kick. Nice fast jab, though, from Stan. Oh, very effective leg kick. Then the spinny Archie back on. Already it takes its toll. You can see the weight, nice countering leg kick from Archie. Stan just a little bit too quick on his feet. Now there, there has been a fairly well kept secret around town. There's a bit of a whisper around that, that Stan has in fact gone into the fight tonight with an injury. Is that right? I think he's got an in, inside left leg torn hamstring. Torn hamstring, really. So if he if he takes a kick on the inside of that forward leg, it's, I'm surprised he's fighting orthodox. I thought he would have fought Southpaw to get that leg back and protect it. But uh, his timing's pretty good right now. Charlie Archie's having a hard time catching Stan. And that hamstring will be under some strain with the kicking too. Stan was a bit worried about that all week, of course, and he was trying to shield, especially with the demonstration fight uh, sparring he's been doing. But uh, he was deciding he wanted to keep it all for this night, and uh, he's obviously letting it go right now. Well, let's hope it holds up, because we're going to see a great exhibition of uh, kickboxing. It would be a shame to see that go wrong. It certainly would. Need to fight a go for the inside leg kick. I thought he would have taken advantage of that. Stan's going that outside with the left hook coming up. But so far, I thought Stan would have been using that switch kick, which didn't take advantage of that inside front leg kick. He's playing the one as that switch kick followed up with that hook, which I'm sure you're going to see. This is the very good one. He's going to go to town now. Hushing <laughs> a little bit low. Stan moving in now. He's going to start landing those heavy oh, yeah. punches. There he goes down. Well, we saw that devastating kick in the first round, and he's followed it up beautifully now. You can see it, that leg, and just towels on those legs. Especially when you've got somebody with, with legs the size of Stan plummeting down on you. Yeah, well, there you go, and at the end of uh, round two, boy, some uh, rough and tough stuff, and already Stan looking good. And Stan looking good. As I said, the weight of those legs makes so much of a difference with the power you can put in those leg kicks. And uh, even though uh, Archie obviously has a height advantage, Stan just knows how to get inside. He's got wonderful bobs and weaves, and he's very light on his feet. Well, here we are seeing some of the action in replay now. He's getting heel kick. And good punches, too. And there's Archie. There it is. Goes down. All right, so what's Archie got to think now? What's he got to do? Stay away. Archie, yeah, Archie's <laughs> got to stay. He's got to watch out for that leg. He's got to start checking it. As I said, one of the main things you have to do is check those leg kicks. If you don't, you start taking the punishment like he is. It's not very long before you can't put any weight on it. And uh, Archie's already going to start favoring it. And that does amazing things to your brain when you're trying to think about winning a fight. And you're thinking, whoa, I don't want to cop another kick in that leg. And uh, that's going to really upset his game plan a lot. So immediately he's got to be conscious of his defensive skills with his legs. Most definitely. I think really what's with misleading the stand long and is what you were saying earlier, Richard. His kicks are not looking that strong tonight, but with his body weight, he's so heavy in the thighs, and his shins are so hard. Both these fighters have got very hard shins. So it, yeah, the kicks don't look strong, but they're rocking in and really shocking the nervous system. It's supposed, supposedly relaxed kicks that hurt the most. The, the stiffer you try and kick, and often trying to put too much power in, it can actually slow the effect of the kick down. Good. Charlie's going in with a, a left-right combination, but still getting hit on that leg. Stan's just Stan moving in now with a right-right combination. In big trouble now, trying to come out of it. Stan going to town, working that leg, really hurting that leg. That's his favourite one, coming with that right leg round kick, followed in with that left hook. It's with the right. right. There it goes again, combination, that leg kick followed with that left hook and that overhand right. Another left hook. Leg kick again, Archie's got to look after that leg, but it's already hurting too much. Stan coming in again, trying to plant that hook and that overhand right once again coming over. So notice Archie having a lot of trouble putting weight on that left leg. Oops, scoring with a couple there. there. Those body shots coming. Trying to get those body shots in. Uppercut then on Stan. Oh, 
Can we get a word with you? Congratulations. What an outstanding performance. Sensational. How do you feel? Thank you. I'm on top of the world. More than anything because it was a big turnout for me. Yeah. And I hope I didn't let anybody down. You certainly didn't let anybody down. Now, you probably started a little slower than a lot of people expected. Yeah. We do know that you've had an injury during the week. Was that affecting you? Yes, that's, that's true. I got a torn hamstring. I tried not to let anyone know about it, but it was on the back of my mind. And 10 rounds is a long way to go. And Charlie's normally a fast starter, so if he took anything out of me, it would have been a bit of a concern for me. And he, he certainly started coming back at you with a bit of boxing. Did you feel then you had to finish yeah, it straight oh, away? Yes, he did. I, ha I thought I had him hurt in the second round, and I, I guess I let him get away with it. As soon as I had him hurt in the third, I knew I had to make the most and capitalise on it, because this guy's a type of fighter, you don't want to give him any chances. Well, your reputation's been absolutely superb with what you've done in the United States. You wanted to do it when you got back here to Australia. Tonight, you must feel a very happy man. Yes, I am. I'm very happy. Well, here it is, the final moments of the bout as we see Stan Longanides moving in to Charlie C. Archie, and he's given him a hiding right up until now, and that one doesn't do Charlie C. Archie any good at all as he goes to the canvas and stays there. And Stan the man, Longanides, gets that win that he's so much wanted within Australia. A great performance from him and a great performance tonight in all of the kickboxing here at Melbourne's Festival Hall. We hope you've enjoyed the program. I'm Ken Hose.